The Clinical Simulation and Skills Unit was established in February 2013 to enhance training of skills and competencies of undergraduate and postgraduate students in the Faculty of Health Sciences. People often ask me why simulation training while we have many patients available for training students. It is true that simulation can and will never replace training on real patients, but there are three main drivers to use simulation as a teaching and learning tool. The first driver is patient safety, where students can be exposed to adverse events and complication management. The ethical considerations of using patients in the training of students should never be ignored and the medical legal risks and possible litigation can be drivers to use simulation in the training of students. The second driver to use simulation include the educational imperatives such as skills training, deliberate practice, mastery of learning, rapid skills acquisition and the training of professional attributes. Clinical placements play an essential role in the decision to use simulation as a teaching and learning tool because the training platform is reducing with limited equipment and resources available. The change in case mix due to the HIV and TV epidemic and now the COVID-19 pandemic play a role in the cases we can expose our students to. A good example of simulation training for students and healthcare workers was in preparation for the COVID-19 pandemic. Healthcare staff and students in the clinical years were trained to correctly don and doff personal protective equipment, or PPE. We also did ICU training and intubation training. Simulation is also used to standardize the training by exposing students to the same conditions. For example, the heart murmur. We also teach professional attributes such as clinical reasoning, teamwork, professionalism, communication and leadership. Simulation is one of the best tools to train students these attributes in a safe and non-threatening environment. The educational environment and the health practice environment play a crucial role in the emerging trends in simulation. Clinical simulation evolved from skills training on part task trainers to high technology and simulated patient simulations, for instance, communication skills on a trained actor. Hybrid simulation is used where a simulated patient and the simulator is combined in the same scenario. Integrated simulations are used to train students in interprofessional collaboration. Currently, we are moving to virtual reality and augmented reality simulations. Simulation is an ever-evolving field with exciting new developments on the horizon, such as simulation training for robotic surgery and even mental simulation. No healthcare student can receive a full and rounded training without simulation as a training tool to augment clinical training on real patients. Therefore, we have to continuously stay on the forefront with the latest equipment and clinical solutions to make this happen. Several national and international companies like Medtronic, Samsung and SSEM Mitembu have contributed towards acquiring the equipment. The consumables we use are partly sponsored by MediClinic Bloemfontein and the Faculty of Health Sciences and it's a recurring need for the unit. Contributions from our partners are imperative to keep the project sustainable. Through the Clinical Simulation Unit, we want to ensure that our students who complete their studies at the University of the Free State are equipped and competent to saving lives in the real world out there. I am Prof. Matthijs Lewiskagny. Come and visit our unit to experience world-class simulation training in the Faculty of Health Sciences in the heart of the Free State.